Uh, Magus D. Hey, no problem, dude. Magus D, d don't, don't you ever worry about that, man. Don't you ever worry about that. Always happy to hear your opinion on what we're doing. Backseating is a part of this channel. That's why it says backseat gaming allowed on our, on our things. Don't ever worry about it. Okay. So, we just, just got up here to Amber Heights. Um, I think we're going to do a little bit of talking and looking around here. And then we're going to probably go back to Stellar Bay and keep working there. But since we're all the way down here, let's go ahead and talk to some folks and see what we're doing here. It's not a very big place, so. Hey, Rose. May the eternal truth guide you. Yeah, you too. And also with you. Iconoclast agitator hmm that's an interesting name Damn, oh let's see about making our grenade uh launcher here <clears throat> okay let's see how do i want to do this um we're gonna take the grenade launcher we're gonna modify it and i think i'm gonna try to make it acidic yeah we have a corrosion thing here i kind of want to see how this is so this is now a corrosive grenade launcher um let's also go ahead and give it a crit damage and let's tinker it a bit. This is the kind of stuff you're going to see me doing more and more of in this playthrough. I kind of just want to experiment. I want to see what's strong. I want to see how strong we can make things. And uh, let me go from there. That is fully tinkered. Okay. We'll try that in place of... This place All wasn't right. half so pretty in the cereals. This will be interesting. Okay. Iconoclast Revolutionary. Hmm. No items back here. Nani? What did I, I thought I was playing Outer Worlds. Oh, there they are. <clears throat> um, I don't even get that. Beef Supreme with the four years, Spicy Meme Guitar and Mad Drop Clux with the three years, Oxbow Panther with the two years. Thank you so much for that, my man. Uh, we also have Gara Partida and Ged3. Thank you so much for your support. Lupus Cardinal and Revan, gift and sub so early. Squad.com, Mini DK, Morna from Qua. Thank you for that. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. Thank, thank you, guys. Hmm, a lot of non named dudes here. What's this? Oh. This is Huxley's Terminal. Stay out. That means you. Oh. Dear Diary. Oh, wait. Well, first, let's do the diaries. Uh, Graham today taught me how to meditate. You close your eyes and you breathe in real deep and try not to cough. Then you just listen to yourself. You know how sometimes you'll be hiding from a manta queen and you're trying to be quiet, so you focus real hard on your breathing and you can hear your heartbeat and think how you can... Think how you can... How can this manta, manta queen not even hear me? All of a sudden, you have to sneeze, and it reminds you of that time when you were coming back with a delivery, and you were putting it on Zora's table, and you sneezed, and it slipped, a bunch of things broke. Meditating is like that, only you're supposed to think of these things on purpose. Graham calls it, I don't remember what he calls it, Recto something? He says it's your own eternal truth bubbling up for the, uh, to the surface, and the things you remember what you're supposed to focus on and try to improve. <laughs> when we meditated, I usually remember things that, I, us I mostly remember that sitting on rocks hurts. Maybe I'm supposed to toughen up my tailbone. Zora's really smart, but you know what? Sometimes she can be such a bee. I was supposed to get some info for her from Cascadia, but I couldn't find a way over without going through the Marauders, so I gave up and stopped in at Fallbrook to pick up some supplies instead. While I was there, Cassidy dropped in for a few games of Whist. He's so cool. He's always playing games there. When I lose bits, I get really upset. I don't have much, so losing what I have hurts, you know? But Cassidy can drop thousands on a single game and she's fine. Well, sometimes she drinks a bit and slams the table and storms out, but still, most of she's cool about it, and I admire that. Anyway, when I got back, Zora yelled at me because I was a little late. Something about medicine not getting here fast enough. Sigh. Grandma, Graham, Graham just said to try not to lose track of time on my next run, and I promised I would. See, that's how you teach someone. Don't gotta yell and make them feel bad. Today, Zora gave me permission to buy ammunition from Bronson. I don't think I want to, but she said I should just in case. But guns are really loud. I'd rather just run away than shoot one. Still, I'm kind of proud. Zora said it was like a promotion for something I found in the wilderness. I think it's a code for a door, but I'm not sure why it's important. I can't even get near the place without getting attacked. I asked her what a promotion is, and she smiled in a really sad way and told me I shouldn't worry about it. This will be my last entry. Sorry, diary. You've been a good listener, but our time has come to an end. The terminal was making a horrible beeping noise yesterday, and somebody smashed it while I was out, and now I can't see more diaries. Milton can't fix it. 
Plus, he says I should stop coming into his house to write when he's not around. Forever smash poor terminal. If you're reading this, suck sulfur. Repair. Storage capacity increased. Logs prior to the most recent four entries are unretrievable, but new entries may now be saved. Hmm, cool. Staying out of sight. Yeah. Oh. What do you think you're doing? What? I am doing nothing. Suppose I can look the other way. This time. I was not sneaky enough. Uh, I'm assuming I just lost one, right? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Who are you? Another revolutionary. A rioter. You know, Vic, you start here than a spectrum potato, but you got a mean left hook. Thank you so I much, Psychic Satir. Thanks, I think. Guess I could give you some pointers. Yeah? All right, let's hear it. Oh lord. Where is, where is this dialogue going? Um is this iconoclast like stuff? No, it's not. Well, most significantly, aside from how you form and angle your fist, is that you cannot just punch with your arm. You must turn your upper body into it to generate any real force. Yep. That sounds real complicated. I think I'll stick with the millstone special. Which is when I kick a jackass square in the chest. <laughs> like it. France maintains a record of strange special equipment requests beyond the normal firearms, ammunition, and medicine that the Iconoclast burned to at an alarming rate. Most of his list is crossed out, but a few items haven't yet been fulfilled. Or smelt bright gel, dissident hunters number 17, Auntie Cleo's wrapped be gone, any book on terminal repair, and primal blue adhesives. Hmm. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Hey, Bronson. Emporium, huh? Let's see what you got. Hmm. Retro rocket. That sounds fun. Uh, he doesn't have any water. He's got a lot of stuff. Oh, cowboy hat? He's got that really nice helmet. Uh, I think I'll take that. No, I don't think we need that. Oh, he's got some locked stuff. Iconoclast assault rifle? Is that better than an assault rifle ultra? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. What are you buying? Is this still funly looking? Oh hell yeah, dude! Absolutely. Uh, buying? Oh, is this a store? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and whatever else we need. Oh, quartermaster for the iconoclast? Iconoclasts? Yeah. We gotta eat. Eating means hunting. Hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. Oh. So Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. Okay, anything you need help with? Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. Sure. The pipe's up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut him off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Oh my. Then there's the old guardhouse, outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. I'll do all these things. I ought to tell you. Most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. I do. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. They ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. Where's his terminal? Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge. Okay. Cool. Let's knock these out. Thornburg was off bounds. That's the only reason the Darlings won. Thornburg was well within bounds. The Darlings won Ooh. because the Rangers have no defense. Thornburg was off bounds. That hand goal never should have been called. Any other argument is invalid. Spoken like a true Rangers fan. You're damn right. They have so much dialogue for each other. It ain't right. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our mission? We gotta earn our keep out here. That don't mean we ought to be following her into the jaws of a manticore. You'd rather sit on your thumbs and starve? No. All I'm saying is she gotta be more careful throwing away lives like that. 
Oh. That almost sounds insurrection-y. Hmm. Hmm. Um, don't we have some of these quest things to do here, or are they all outside? They're all outside. Oh. Oh. Sealed. Hmm. Okay. Green Thor! Oh, appreciate that, buddy. Good vibes to you, my man. Gotta check in these tents. Man, so many dead things around here. Uh, so we got a medical area and a bar, maybe? This way. Oh, oh there's a sign. Looks kind of like a bar. Oh, here we go. Oh. Carry on. There's no bartender. Hey. Okay, Dad. A manta queen. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We felled it, mine. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Hi. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Oh. Welcome All right, to then. the Iconoclasts. What do you teach? The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. Thank you, we do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. Now, why don't you come? Sevy61, I saw that, buddy. Thank you so much, my man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I'm just looking for ways to help people here. Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Oh, for the pamphlets! A printing press? On Monarch? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck. Will you aid us in our cause? Sure. Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? Uh-oh. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Um, MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Makes sense. Where's your supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. Okay, be right back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but... If there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? <laughs> Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Oof. Can I talk to you? Hey. Oh, I can't. Oh, interesting. Okay. You know, food and medicine. You, you know, the, 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 just the, if you know, got time. Oh, damn, he can see me. Um, knock you out, bar. Hmm. I think we'll wait on this. What about this? Access files in the Halcyon Colony. 
The board lies. Okay, propaganda against the board. The oppression must end. <clears throat> More stuff like anti-board. Now yeah, we must bring the regime down. The dangers of a corporate society. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to see a theme here. Um, Sanjar and the betrayer. Wait, this is a dude. I often recall my former friend who once sought to dismantle the corporations as I still do. When he took ownership of our corporation, I held him in such contempt. I called him a coward, a betrayer. He was becoming the very thing we hated. Now I'm not so sure. Recently, I've come to accept that his heart was more closed than mine. I cannot expect every man to be able to open himself to the eternal truth as I have. Some are just not capable. And so it is a tragic thing. A tragic that he is weaker than I'd hoped and that he cannot fight for a cause. I can empathize with the tragedy. Will the day come when the metal of our spirits clash against one another that empathy will shield me from guilt. Like the board, he now stands across our path, arms crossed, stubbornly resistant to the eternal truth. Like the board, he spreads, he celebrates, the poison that cripples our society. Like the board, his stubbornness will only blind him to his inevitable fall. Your Bista. Thank you so much for that highlighted message, buddy. Personal thoughts regarding Zora. For someone who's so committed to the iconoclast way, I fear that Zora is slipping off the true path. More and more often, I fear her attachment to the materialism of our oppressors sways her decisions more than the search for the guiding truth that will save us. She often tells me her people are hungry. I agree. Their spirits long for, for fulfillment and much more powerful power than any pang of an empty gut. Teaching notes. Okay. okay. Random kind of stuff there. Shifting priorities. As the numbers grow, I find that more and more of our population turns to the written word of my pamphlets. I'm happy to continue making them, but I must find a more efficient way to print and distribute this reading material. I wonder if that old printing press might be convinced to run once more. This is what he was telling us about. Okay. Wouldn't that be something? To return to my duties as an editor in a publication. Return to my duties. Only at this time of my own control and not stifled by the rules and regulations of style guides and grammar books. Nobody will tell me what to, where to put a comma. I'll put them where they belong, as decreed by the eternal, by the eternal truth. Nice. The universe influence drift. Yeah, as people are saying in the chat, I I like I like that these guys are anti corporation, but I'm not feeling this whole like eternal truth angle. Um, that honestly is kind of its own form of of corporate enslavement. Hmm. Yeah, these this guy is very big about the eternal truth. Do we know what the eternal truth is? It hasn't said in any of these. What if we can talk to Huxley about that? Or not Huxley, uh, uh, Pedbro, this guy. Ah, hello. You're still alive. For now. I have some questions. All right. I want to know more about your teachings. Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? What is the... I would oh. like to know what you think Bokonu meant when he wrote, your work is to discover the truth, and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. Ah, how refreshing to have a scholar among us. Ooh. Bokonu's text simply refers to our entire purpose, assisting the universe in realizing its own truth. Let it guide us as it will. Dude, that's like... It refers to giving oneself over to the plan. It is not some peon to an invisible creator in the sky. Yeah. Oh, no. Let them talk. Were there a truth to the grand plan in the first place, I and Bakonu might agree. But what we see as divine purpose is just one facet of the universe figuring itself out. To quote, as a child looking at the leg of an elephant, unable to view it whole, we mistake the tiny scope of our understanding as the unfathomably large purpose of the universe. You're not completely full of shit, I'll give you that. <laughs> Even if you do twist things beyond recognition to suit your own beliefs. Let it go, Max. Mr. Bryant's got you beat. <laughs> Let's let him talk, Felix. Were my teachings beyond recognition, I dare say I wouldn't have a small army of followers who understand and believe. I owe you an apology. I expected you to be a complete idiot. I'd say you're actually more in the 25% idiocy range. <laughs> Max, dude. Likewise. <laughs> now, I'm sorry. What was it you were asking? Oh, I love this dialogue so much. I hear the word eternal thrown around a lot. What is it? Ah, 
the Eternal One. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms, divinity is in us all, and the Eternal is that divinity. Even OSI, are their members similarly divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to believe, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Ability to believe? I think you mean inability to tell fantasy from truth, which rules out any knowledgeable scientician. Let us be clear. Neither of us can lay claim to being knowledgeable on this topic. It is a matter of belief. It is not as if OSI has gone and proven anything. Regardless, what were you saying? Hmm. What do you mean by an awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it's Lath, the I love it. brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. What friend was that? This is Sanjar, I think. Sanjar Nandi. He leads MSI out of Stellar Bay. Such a shame, the way his sensibilities have been corrupted over time. Do you believe in a creator? Not in the sense of a single entity. Fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time. Organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. The universe doesn't need to find its purpose. It is a mathematically perfect equation that gives mankind purpose. That we'd consider ourselves in any way capable of understanding the universe, much less an equation that drives it, is nothing but hubris. Hmm. All right. I've heard people mention an Amber Heights massacre. What happened? I'm sorry. As long as it's been, I'd still rather not speak of it. That was a painful day for us all. Why? Did you have family here? All people are part so of let's the talk about it. family. I've come to accept that. <laughs> along with the additional weight of their deaths. Hmm. Okay. Why have you come? What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> like, just to talk? I don't know. Okay, uh, let's go check out this med area real quick. Oh, this is Zora's area. Okay. Ooh, jeez. Well, that's not so good. Okay. Sorry about earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his Hey, Dustin, press. good morning. Do do do. Blue Wolf! Thank you so much, my man. I really appreciate it, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Uh, do you think people would be more critical of this game if it was made by Bethesda? Uh, I think moving forward, because of 76, um, I think everybody is going to look at Bethesda products differently. So absolutely, I, I I mean, but that's that's kind of a make your bed and then you sleep in it situation. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You run the triage clinic here? Yeah, name Zora. Hey, the Chads. I've been patching up the iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet, if I can. But like, there's some important things to mention. Like, for instance, one of the, the great things about this game is how they've really tightened up the engine. As I've said many times, I haven't gotten stuck on anything. Faces and animations are actually pretty decent. Like, this, this game is really, really well made. No Bethesda product has ever released this, this complete. Every time Bethesda released a product, Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout 3, they're all super buggy on release. All of them. Um, 
This is not. So far, every quest has worked, knock on wood. So far, we've never gotten stuck on anything, knock on wood. I haven't crashed once, knock on wood. So it's, it's, this is not a Bethesda experience, to put it bluntly. Um, also, we're not on Gamebryo, thank God. So, knock on wood. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's kind of how that works. Okay, so your sawbones. I was a long time ago, over in Cascadia. I'm actually knocking on wood when I say that, yes. I realize I'm tempting fate. Often that mental lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. It does seem wasteful to buy press parts rather than food. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts, and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. Uh, I started this game three days ago, Sevy. Mm -hmm. Been playing it every day since. You always talk to your leader like that? When he's being an idiot, sure. Oh. What happened in the ruins? A Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere. And I guess the gunfire attracted raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Listen, unless this is urgent, I need to oversee the wounded. Oh. Need any help? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. Oh, cool. Okay. He's always looking to pass work that. off on someone else. For now, I got to get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Thank you so much, Qua. Appreciate that, brother. He's getting all the folks in chat today. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is safe from the Quaw. Hmm. I think the dude we're supposed to be looking for is up here somewhere. I wanted uh, to get him trash. before we leave. Yeah, look at him. He just keeps making him. You're fucking weird, Carl. I don't think he can hear you. He's in the zone. <laughs> the trash cube zone. You gotta admit, they're convenient fit together real nice trash is trash i don't care what she fits in i guess <laughs> go get him carl hope zora's next hmm. Ooh. i'll keep quiet Doink. man so many dead rats around here Jeez. Oh. Ow. Um. I totally want to try jumping and getting that, but I'm going to go save first in case this ends terribly. Yeah, I'm definitely going to save first. <laughs> It tastes like sulfur all the same. Oh. Yeah, uh, Mr. Millstone, you seem like a young man who could use some direction in your life. Is this about me ending up in the wrong bunk? Because I swear I wasn't that drunk. The hallway's disorienting. Son, you can always come to me for spiritual guidance, but not between 2 and 4 a.m. Is this game difficult enough? This game has gotten a lot more difficult since we've gotten to this area. Yes, the enemies are much more brutal. Mm -hmm. When does this game actually come out? It came out yesterday. This game is out right now. Did you get your schooling, Max? Nowhere special, Mr. Millstone. An OSI seminary, same as my peers. They teach you science there? You know, test tubes, formulas, all that sundry. There was... more to science than test tubes and lab coats and the study of science is a lifelong commitment not merely a collection of coursework you uh you got any of your old books just asking why son are you expressing an interest in science i suppose i could find you some reading material i think there's an invisible wall there <laughs> 